among other things on the show, he was uh, uber traveling Matt Fraggle. Please welcome longtime Muppet performer, Mr. Dave Gold. <laughs> That's because wherever you go to talk about the Muppets, you're among friends. Um, this next batch of clips, as Craig said, is from Fraggle Rock, and uh, I wanted to set up, tell you a couple of things about it to sort of set the context. Um, and um, I, I think it's important to know what Jerry's life was like when he began this project. Somewhere around the beginning of Fraggle Rock, Jerry suffered the ultimate horror for a parent. He, he lost his daughter, Christine, after a long, excruciating battle with cystic fibrosis. Um, Jerry and Christine adored each other, and we can only imagine how Jerry felt when he lost her. He had endured years of pain as she suffered from that disease, and the loss of his beloved daughter marked the beginning of Fraggle Rock. And uh, maybe it was through Fraggle that Jerry found ways to use that pain for good. The other big thing that happened to Jerry, if you can get your head around this, is that uh, early in Fraggle Rock, uh, a good thing happened. And word spread amongst us that Jerry had found a new girlfriend. And one weekend, our production had a, a party in a huge park in Toronto. And the word was that, um, that Jan was going to come. And so we got to meet her, and it was immediately clear that Jerry had made a great choice. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, after a while, they married. The actual wedding was followed by an outsized ceremonial wedding on the beach at Cape Cod. And uh, it was conducted by the Right Reverend Richie, also known as Richard Hunt. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Jerry and Jan had found the loves of their lives. And uh, that love never stopped. And it still goes on. So in a very short space of time, Jerry had experienced the worst and the best. Uh, he began working on Fraggle surrounded by that pain and that joy. And it had to have been head spinning. Um, it had to also have been a factor in the work that he did there. Uh, I'd like to give you a brief primer in case there are people here who don't know Fraggle Rock in particular. Jerry played Gobo Fraggle. And Gobo was the one with the true heart and the clear eye. He was the stand-up guy, the loyal, dependable, reliable leader of the Fraggles. You're probably here most of you who know him anyway, because you love Gonzo. I mean, Go Gobo. It was just incredible. 
So, uh, this is, uh, I guess I'll go on to the last thing. The architect, <laughs> Doozer, was the... Uh, <laughs> I've shaken myself badly here. <laughs> Characters, and uh, he was the designer of everything that the Doozers did. He was an august, wise leader, something of a parallel to what Gobo was. Um, and, uh, and the last character that he did as a, as a major character was Pa Gord, blustering, foolish king of all the Gords, uh, of, of whom there were only his wife and son left. <laughs> they were oblivious to their impending destruction, late, extinction, I should say, and Pa and his queen spent all their time trying to prepare their dunderhead son to take the reins of power. So, uh, here now, Jerry Nelson in Fraggle Rock.